hi guys in this lecture you will be learning how to handle the overflow how to handle the display and visibility and then the combinators and opacity so first of all here I'm gonna create a paragraph here I'm gonna create a div and here is its closing tag and in between this I'm gonna copy a paragraph here is the paragraph so now here I'm gonna define its width and height here is its width 200 pixel and its height is also 200 pixel and now let's render it and here I'm gonna provide the border and now execute it so here you see that uh, the content is overflow from the div and how to handle it we need to provide the overflow property if we give it value overflow hidden so the content that is outside the div is automatically height and if we give it scroll then a scroll is added and we can assess the content here the content is present and the next thing is and the next thing is the display and the visibility property so here uh, I'm gonna create a second div copy this and here and give the diff here I'm gonna make it paragraph so now here is the paragraph and I'm gonna give it the border one pixel solid black so now let's watch both of these so here is the paragraph and here is the div so now I'm gonna apply the visibility property on the div so I'm gonna give it a value hidden and reload the page so now here you see that the div still covers the space but it is not visible it mean the div is existing but it is not visible and we are also able to give it a value visible then it's visible and now I want to show you the display property when we give the display property then the element does not cover the space display none and here you see that the div cannot covering the space the div is no more exist it is not covering the space so that's why paragraph float on the upside and then we can also give it block then the div is shown on the screen here is the div so now so that's why we are using the display property because display property uh, will just disappear the HTML element and the next thing is the opacity we can also give the opacity to an image then it's become transparent here I'm gonna import an image here is the JPG so now here is the image it is clearly shown to you but now here I'm gonna give it image and now we have to write opacity and then we can give the value from the 0 0.1 to 1.0 if we give the 0 0.1 it is completely transparent 
here it is completely transparent but if we give 0 0.5 or 0 0.34 so here it is less transparent if we give 1.0 so it is fully visible so this is the way we can use the opacity and the next thing is the combinators so first of all what is the combinators here I'm gonna remove this and make it a paragraph I have removed that paragraph mistakenly here is the second paragraph so now these are the two paragraphs now I am going to apply the styles on these paragraph first of all write the div selector then P so now what I am going to do there are two paragraphs I am going to apply the style on this paragraph by using the combinator so what is the combinator the combinator is just a way in which we use the different selectors to apply style this is a descendant selectors in which we apply the style on the paragraph that is inside the div so now this style is only apply on this paragraph that is inside the div reload the page and here you see that the border is apply only the first paragraph here I'm going to increase its height so here you see that the first paragraph have the style because it is inside the div this is called the combinator and here I'm going to show you another thing that is here I'm going to remove this div and here create another paragraph and now here I'm going to close the div but here I'm going to make it in the span this paragraph is now inside the span and now I am going to apply the style on the paragraphs that is inside the div and that is that are the direct children of the div here this is a child selector this is a child selector this is the descendant selector so now the style is apply only on the paragraphs that are the direct child of the div here these two paragraphs are the direct child of the div but this paragraph is the child of the span and then span is a child of the div so here I'm gonna give the background red so now let's watch it here you see that first two paragraphs have the red background here I'm gonna remove the height here remove the width and now watch it clearly so here you see that first two paragraphs have the style because it because these are the direct children of the div here you can see that and the third one is the child of the span so this is the child selector i hope you enjoy this lecture if you have any problems you can't hear the discussion on udemy i will help you as much as i can and in my next lecture i'm going to discuss pseudo elements and pseudo classes see you in the next lecture